Hi everyone, welcome to today's Success Junkie blog. I'm very excited that you're here. So we're gonna be talking about how to ask for the sale without asking for the sale, okay? And oftentimes, this is a subject that I, I, I hear often about, well, I don't wanna be a salesperson or I'm not a salesperson, so I don't really know if I'd be able to share the products. And as you all know, that we don't have to be salespeople, right? We're just offering solutions to whatever it is that our product, service, or opportunity has for them. And so um, the only way you're really a salesperson is if you hunt them down, chase after them, drive them crazy, and that is not what we do, right? That is not how you handle business. Um, and so this is one of the biggest things that, you know, people struggle with when they start out in their business. Um, you know, you know that you have to ask for the sale, but you don't want to come off to be that cheesy salesperson. And so how do you do it? Well, first of all, you have to have confidence. You have to know what it is that you're selling. You have to believe in what you're selling and you have to have posture for when those arrows are being you know, throwing your way, right? Of how to handle the objections, um, how to handle them right, not getting offensive, you guys. Like, there's no reason to get offensive when, when we get the objections. You just wanna speak your voice, and you wanna just really have the intention of helping other people. And, um, and so having that confidence and that belief and that passion for what you're doing that kind of really overtakes everything else, if, if that makes sense. Um, so how do you actually ask for the sale or to get people to join what you have as your opportunity, okay? So I'm gonna walk you through that real quickly. So number one, you wanna show them that you're actually committed to helping them build their business. Now, you are not going to build it for them, right? we are going to be there for them, right? When they have questions, period, you are in this for the long haul and you're gonna build it with or without them, right? So it's not that you necessarily need them to build, you're offering them the opportunity to be able to make that secondary income. And so you wanna bring your energy, you wanna bring your excitement, anytime you're, you're in a meeting or you're talking with people, all right? So that's number one. Number two, you want to make sure that your, you know, what you're going to do for them is that you're not going to build their business. People can be scared off by thinking that, you know, they're going to have to do any everything themselves, and they're not going to have to do everything themselves. However, you are not an enabler, right? We are here to show people, take them by the hand on the journey, and point the direction of the tools, right? Yes, you're there to help them do three-way calls. You're there to help them, guide them on their journey, but you are not going to build it for them, right? So just tell them that, you know, you'll be here to help make them a success and to point in the right direction where they need it to go, but they need to do their own due diligence. And then three, ask for the sale without actually asking for it. And how do you do that? Well, you ask them if what they like most about the presentation and why. Um, this is going to get them talking. That's really all you want to do is you want to get them talking, ask a lot of questions, do more of the listening. Um, you're asking them what they if what they saw truly, if they could feel like it's an opportunity for them and why. Um, you ask them, are you ready to get started today? Just really basic, easy questions um, that you want to just keep guiding it to them making a decision. That's what you're doing. You're there to help them make a decision. And if they give you an objection, just keep asking questions back, right? Um, so you're not asking, you know, will you make this per purchase? You're just saying, do you see this as an opportunity to help you get to where you really want to go? You shared your goals with me that you are looking to get out of your, you know, job. So does this look like an avenue of what you'd be able to take with my help to show you and guide you along the way? Do you see this as an opportunity for you, right? And that's really it. Um, and so that's how you treat your business. Confidence, belief, passion with posture, that's all gonna help in, in regards to that um, sales process, right? Where you don't have to come off 
as that cheesy salesperson. And please don't chase anybody down for a decision. It's okay to reconnect and follow up, but there's no chasing down. You don't want to have that focus on that one person because then 20 others are going to go by and you're going to, you know, miss the opportunity to help a lot of people um, because your focus is, is lasered in on that one person. So I hope you found value in this. Make sure to check out more of my blogs at create success with julie.com. And also if you're here, grab my 41 bulletproof one liner conversation starters. You guys, this is how I built a six figure business within a year. I said less and I listened more. And so it's awesome. They're awesome icebreakers. And then I obviously am um, in there. I have the whole follow up sequence on, on what to do after you get their information and you send them to a tool. Okay. So as always, be well, live life with purpose, joy, and freedom. And I look forward to seeing you on my next training. Bye for now.